What's going on, viewers from the internet? I'm Variety Gamer95 back for some more Paper Mario. So last time we returned the frying pan to taste tea, and we got ourselves a cake that she made herself. Apparently, her late husband used to eat it all the time. So this time, <clears throat> we are going to move forward in Shy Guy's toy box. So we're supposed to go to the peak station. So I don't know if you noticed, but my HP is now 25. I did a little bit of grinding off camera. Okay, there was a save block here. I could have skipped this, but I didn't remember. Anyway, my HP is now 25 because I did a small amount of grinding. Not too much. I actually got almost 100 star points even, funny enough. Alright, so let's go ahead and save. I have a copy of File 3, is added to File 4. So that is our first en fire enemy right there. That is a pyro guy. Think of fool. Let's see, uh, yes, yeah, Sam. Okay, so this enemy right here is pretty annoying to fight. This is a spy guy. I'm trying to figure out who would be best to have. I do have quick change equip. Let's see, because he'll often try to shoot a rock at you. Yeah, that's why I was debating it, because of the Medi guy that's right here. The problem is, I want to say the Medi guy has... Okay, so every time you attack the spy guy, he'll change his weapons. When he has that hammer out, he has a chance of disabling one of your commands, if you fail to block it. See, yeah, see, that's why I was debating attacking the uh, Medi guy up there. Because he was just going to freaking heal, you know. He heals 4 damage, which is quite a lot, by the way. So this is the reason why I was debating who I should have out. Because obviously, Cooper cannot attack airborne enemies, period. You know, his specialty is attacking enemies on the ground. <clears throat> so we had to go through two rooms, apparently. Let's see here. So look at this big chonky guy over here that's gourmet guy wow he's huge does this guy ever stop eating it looks like he eat until his stomach blew up see so it looks like he wants some food right total a fork and a knife what do you have to say sir everybody calls you gourmet guy i don't know why i'm just an ordinary food loving shy guy <sighs> i'm hungry how how about some cake sir Oh! Oh! Mmm! Oh! Delicious! This is lip smacking good! Yum! Oh, look at what he dropped! This is like a good cookbook! A book where May Guy dropped. Show it to a good cook. We can return that a little bit later. Let's see. There are a couple of other things that I should collect first before I go back. Uh, here's the problem. Well, they're not in this room. The uh, pyro guys. See, there's a groove guy. The groove. There's a groove guy in this room. See, so as you might expect, crap. So as you might expect, oh, that's a little annoying. As you might expect, you don't wanna. You don't want to jump on a pirate guy. You know, because he's made of fire. What did you expect? With the ice power badge, we could avoid damage entirely, though. We could stomp on him safely. So, yeah, there's th there's the Groove Guy's dizzying attack. But I feel it's fight equipped. So, it's no problem, you know. There's some Mario's HP is out 25. Because I leveled up, like I said at the beginning. Ugh. Yeah, no, yeah. Oh my lord. Way to screw that up, Joseph. Man, Paracarry. No, I'm not gonna stand for this. This is why Quick Change is broken beyond belief. Let's see. Because now I can switch back to Paracarry again and I don't have to worry about losing my turn. Bam. It does eat up four uh, badge points, which is really the only caveat to quick change, but it's really handy. Got some fire points back. Oh, coin block, coin block, coin block! Come on, Mario, jump! 
Jump, Mario, jump! You guys remember that commercial? Wrong button, Joseph. Okay, the press start. See, here's the problem. How do I know there won't be any groove guys at the fight? He can't first strike me, so I'm going to go ahead and equip Chilla for right now. Equip Ice Power. Let's see, yeah. Because look how fast that guy went. He's a bit of fire, but he's fast as lightning. So I heard Pyro guys are especially vulnerable to uh, explosions as well. This is what Ice Power does. See? So it gets you to see that as long as you have Ice Power equipped. I will screw that up. Luckily I didn't. Ugh. Hey, it does some pretty powerful damage too. Ugh. See, this is where a badge called multi Bounce would really come in handy. Because it jumps on all enemies in a row. Okay. It did 6 damage to him, nice. Oh yeah, yeah, you're doing quite a lot of damage, sir. The annoying thing is, how did I actually first strike? How did I actually strike first? Oh, this is handy. This spell actually showed up 2 or 3 times. I want to say it was 3 while I was off camera. Okay, 18 star points. Fire flower from a fire enemy, how funny. So in order to move forward, we have to flip the switch. Ah, if only we could fix uh, railroads like that in real life, huh? Keep my eye out for any enemies. Because I know there is one that I skipped back here. I see. Also, hold on. Hold the phone. I was a four items back there? Oh, okay, I thought it was full of items. I took the liberty of grabbing some items off camera. Namely, a cake mix with the Shy Guy Playground and a lemon from the Desert Oasis. You'll see what I mean in due time. Let's see, I would like to save our items if I could help it. Okay, I got rid of the Spy Guy. So I'm going to go ahead and save, because I'm no fool. <laughs> so, uh, speaking of foolishness... I look back at the footage of the last video where I shut off the game over screen after losing to the anti guy. Uh, if I did not miss with uh, Paracure Shell Shot that one time, I actually would have had it. Because all I had to do was use Star Storm and then attack with Skydive. Although it's hard to say if I would have actually thought of doing that because I don't, I'm not tattling the enemies. There's really no incentive to do so in this game. So we still can't move forward because of this. We have these colored blocks here that we have to hit in a particular order. Now you would think it would be green, yellow, red, blue, but it's actually not it. There's a save block here, wish I remembered that detail. Let's see, there's nothing to the left, so how about we go to the right? Okay, so here is the third prize. That can be the third trap that Kevin Koopa set for us. Well, I can, I can spin. Yeah, I can spin. So this is why we need. This is where we need Lady Bo's powers. Yeah, I don't know if I want to take that chance. I don't have a choice. I need to heal up. Because that note is actually pretty important. Wrong button, Joseph. So, use Bow's power to pass through that. See, I want to say that guy will run away from me. Uh, no, he actually straight up went after me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, how annoying. Okay. Star Storm. Hey, the sh color of the Shy Guys actually matches the color of the boxes back there. Yeah, I was not going to deal with that, sorry. Especially considering a partner had attacked twice. Mystery note, you can't read this. Show it to someone who is very smart. Okay, you think the coins on the ground would have been moving along. So this is a slot machine. You can actually get things like uh, coins and shy guys to fight from this thing by hitting these blocks. 
Can't do anything with it while it's not uh, active, though. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. So I believe we want to press down C here so that we can uh, move move onward. Okay, come on. Mario is a great jumper, but he's not as good as Luigi. Okay, so here is the Super Soda. Um, wrong button, Joseph. Sure, let's drink it. What was Super Soda tastes like? Ooh, sounds yummy. The Dictionary. The Scholar Rest Tease Dictionary. Return it to him. Damn, so I'm actually going to be able to return that to him already? I think there's a little something down here. Yes, a star piece. Nice. That puts me at 14. Eight hours and one minute into the journey, huh? Yeah. This game can take approximately uh, 20, to 20, 20 to 25 hours? Maybe 20 to 30, I don't know. Ugh, run away from you, good sir. Okay, so now we need to use bow again to pass through this. And now we can move onward. That is, if the game will let me. Okay, so now we just have to go back to uh, Rust T's place. I... Crap, I meant to go to the blue station. Damn it. Yeah, because you can actually travel to... Uh, you can travel to all the way, as opposed to having to go one by one like my dopey mind just did. Oh, yeah, yeah, I wish I'd remember that. Come on. Wasting my time. And my viewers. Now, I might have to take another part to finish up Shy Guy's toy box. We haven't even gotten to the mid-boss fight, by the way, so... Let's see, uh, give me a second. Okay, so... We're almost done with turning the stolen items. I believe the dictionary is going to be the last of it. Let's see. We could show him the mystery note, but I think he wants his dictionary first. My dictionary! Oh, wonderful words! Many thanks, Mario! Star piece. Let's see here. Can you read this note, sir? You'd like me to translate this note for you? Let's see. Aha! He seems to be reading the language of the Shy Guys. Let's see here. Yes. Accents. Hmm. Silent D. Hmm. Yes, it says hit yellow, green, red, and then blue. What an odd thing to write down. Any idea what it's about? So yellow, green, red, and blue. Let's go back to Shy Guy's toy box and see what we can do with this, huh? So yellow, green, red, blue. Okay, back at Green Station. So hit yellow, green, red, then blue. So it's yellow, green, red, and blue. So if you hit them in the wrong order, I think you'll just get coins out of it. Poof. 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 Yep, they're all gone. Alright, so let's go ahead and get a move on, shall we? Now we can go to the red station. Let's see, or... We could go back to blue station from here. So, so you notice that there was a broken uh, piece, a broken part of the tracks here? Let's see. I think our little track probably will be fixed if we pull down that lever. Or maybe not. I'm not sure. Hmm. To pull or not to pull? Do you think pulling that lever will fix the tracks? Hmm. So this is the one and only time that you can come here. And that's it. Well, I'll be! Just as I suspected. We should have moved that lever a long time ago. We're leaving only to go a couple inches forward. And so now we can take a shortcut all the way around the, uh, the train station. So let's go to Red Station. I don't know why I'm not holding B. Oh, I guess pressing B works here too. I thought it had to be A. Alright, 
So here we are at Red Station. Yeah, I knew one of these had a heart block, but I didn't remember which one it was. I forgot to give Taste Tea the cookbook. I'll be right... Uh, I was over there too, that's the worst part. I'll be right back, guys. Give me a second. That's the absolute worst part. Like, I specifically came out here after getting the dictionary so that I could give Taste Tea the cookbook on the way. Can you tell me if I should get through this game? Let's see here. Oh my! Oh good heavens! That book you have! It looks like a cookbook! I could increase the repertoire that is still with that book! Mario, if it's okay with you, may I have it? Here you go, lady! Ooh! I could have it! Oh, how delightful! With this cookbook, I can use two kinds of ingredients at once and make even more fabulous dishes for you. Please bring me different ingredients so I can try some new recipes. Let's see here. How about a cake mix? Would you like to? Could you like me to use another ingredient and a lemon? Now I shall cook with cake mix and lemon. All right. Okay, so this combination will give us a lemon candy. A tangy candy made by Taste Tea. It stores 5, 5 HP, 15 FP. So real quick, uh, since I'm going out and about like this, that only gave me 9 though. Real quick, since I'm going out and about, how about I show off a pretty good item? So the items that we need to make this are a goom nut and a koopa leaf. Oh, there's a shop over in Koopa Village. So if you guys remember where we can get that stuff. See, not this bush. No, it's this one right here. Right here. Koopa leaf. So I need to put away an item to check. I'll store the Thunderbolt, sure. Like, in most cases, I'd rather use the Thunder Rage. But the Thunderbolt could be nice, you know? So now I'm gonna go back to Goomba Village and get a Goom Nut. Okay, so I have the Goom Nut, and I also have the Koopa Leaf. So let's show off a pretty good item. So let's give you. The Goom Nut. Use another ingredient. You can turn down the option to use a second ingredient. You don't have to do it. So cook with Goom Nut and Koopa Leaf. I read this in TV shows, by the way. All done! It smells delicious! Here, please! A bland meal. Boring food cooked by Taste Tea. Restores 10 HP and 10 FP. Yeah, 10 and 10. That's pretty good. See, as for oh, check this out. As what else the cookbook could do for you? You could combine things like syrups and mushrooms. For example, so give her a super shroom and give her a maple syrup. Super shroom and maple syrup. So this particular combination will give us something called. A Maple Super, a dessert made by Tasty, restores 10 HP and 10 FP. So being able to restore both HP and FP is definitely a nice deal, but there are advantages to restoring only HP, and there are advantages to restoring only FP. Or for something like a lemon candy, you maybe you only want to restore a small amount of HP and a lot of FP, or vice versa. So after getting the cookbook, keep stuff like that in mind as you're preparing recipes. If all else fails, you can just look up the recipe list of Mario Wiki. It's not a big deal. So I used two Super Shrooms back there, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy two more. Okay, let's head back to Shy Guy's Toy Box. Now, there's a reason I got the Lemon Candy, however. BAM! Boy, I'm gonna have to do a lot of cuts, huh? So there's a reason I got the lemon candy. If you remember me saying that you can bribe the anti-guy away... Oh my lord, he's not gonna stop. Okay. 
Do I smell lemon candy? Hey, pal, you have lemon candy. You didn't tell me? Please, I love that stuff. Let me have some lemon candy. Please. Come on, pal. Take the treasure. Just give it the lemon, lemon candy, will ya? Here you go, sir. All yours. Yeah! I got some lemon candy! Okay. So in this chest is a power plus badge. It increases Mario's jump and hammer attack powers by one. It can be... Come on. It can be a good badge, but there is just one problem. It takes six badge points. And guess what? There's two of these in the game. Ugh. Oh, so good. Tart. So yummy. So it's worth noting that if you go this route, you cannot fight the anti-guy. Let's see. He, he just says the same thing. Okay. Let's hope we don't ever have to fight more than one of those guys, because one already kicked my ass. If we fall something like three, oh boy, uh, I don't think I'd win. I mean, like I said, I already didn't win against the one. Let's just not think about it, okay? Okay, so, let's move forward. So, we could go to the right, but there's nothing for us to do over there. So, we have to go over here. We have to go to the left first. Um, real quick. Okay, I have ice power equipped. Ugh! Oh my lord, that guy is so fast! Wrong button, Joseph! I keep thinking the thousand year door! Oh, damn! Oh, there's no way I was going to run away from that guy. <sighs> Let's see here. I can do this. As much as I'd rather save my FP, I don't want that spike guy getting off the hammer attack. See? See, okay. So he's shuffling his feet like that. That's when he's going to do the dizzy attack. Yeah, luckily I still have, uh, I still have Fully Fine equipped. Okay, so the spy guy's down. Don't need to use any more FP. Okay, so let's see. Ah, oh, you would do that, you piece of crap, wouldn't you? Okay. It's just a normal shy guy. I can deal with that. If it were a medi guy, then, uh, well, I might have done, th done what I just did anyway. see here is doing that attack acrobatic attack that's what it is oh okay that wasn't what I meant to do my thumb grazed the right control stick because oh nice because I have both the I have the right stick mapped to the control stick on the N64 because I played this the Wii, Virtu Wii U virtual console you know Let's see here. So, here is a pretty helpful item. Deep Focus Badge. When he's a focus, charges star energy more than usual. So, that's an invisible block. Deep Focus is really strong. If you ever have the chance to equip it, use it well. Let's see. It takes up only one BP. That's the best part. And guess what? There's two of these in the game. So, we have to go in this room. I, I would highly recommend having Lady Bow out for this. <laughs> Someone has come. Someone is here in the dark. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, could it be? <laughs> it's Mario. Looks like you're mine, Mario. <laughs> I won't let you go anywhere. Oh, boy, he looks scary. Let's see here. <laughs> I'll take care of you quickly. They return to my darkness. I hate the light. So, I'll take you with me, to the deep dark. So when it's dark like this, you have no way of targeting the big lantern ghost. And pressing right, you can't do anything. This is why I recommend having Bow out. So, uh, so she can smack this thing multiple times. It has to be bright enough so that the big lantern ghost can be targeted. But he has a flashing attack, but more often than not, take your partner out for a little while. So he's power jump. 
Let's see. Whoa! I hate light! I'll make it darker. Then even darker than that. Okay. So that was his turn. That was his turn. Don't get used to it, though. Okay, so power jump on the big lantern ghost. I want to say he has 40 HP. This attack, yeah! So that attack will have to take out your partner. Okay. It's two turns, but he's still gonna make it dark. See? Now, I don't believe it's a uh, number of hit. I don't believe it's the strength to hit. I believe it's number of hits. Yeah, see it's number of hits. Let's see. So this is another attack. It's an attack of four. Okay, power jump again. Pow! Should be almost done. Let's see, I'm not tattling these guys. Lantern is only meant to be smacked around to uh, brighten the environment. Oh, this is nice! Man, that spells are coming in clutch! Pow! Nine damage! Ugh! Okay. Anyway, I think this might do him in this attack. No! He's got a lot of freaking health, boy! It doesn't have to be all the way bright. It just has to be bright enough that. Oh, he's attack of five. It just has to be bright enough that you could target him, see? Okay, that did him in, yeah. Nice, 16 star points. No! So we have this lantern here. Hi, mister. I'm what? Can I, um, get out of here? Okay, I want to make sure I get this right, because there's something special we could do here. Say, this is the lantern that belongs to the big lantern ghost. There's something inside. Do you think it'd come out if we broke it? So we could hammer this thing into oblivion. Or, we can blow it up. <coughs> You're crazy, mister! Did you have to, um, blow it up to get me out? Jeepers! So that special dialogue that you only see if you use Bombette to make the lantern explode. You know? Otherwise, you can hammer it. Hey! Aren't you, um, Mario? You just saved me like a hero! You're a hero, aren't you? You're the coolest! You saved me with a mean guy who laughed like, Wee hee hee! I gotta make it up to you! I'll go with you, Mario, okay? I heard the, um, shy guy saying that you're trying to save Princess Peach from Bowser! You're super great! You're the greatest great guy! I think you're the best! So, um, I really want to help! I'll be good, really! So now Watt joined your party! Press down C to have her illuminate the area around you. With her light, you can see invisible blocks, too. While in battle, she can shock enemies with Ultra Dash or paralyze them with Power Shock. Ooh, it's pretty dark, huh? I kind of like the dark. But, um, now I can show you how helpful I can be, okay? Use my power, okay? Let's press down C. Wow, pretty cool, huh? Look, it's so bright now. Tee hee hee. I bet nobody else could help with like that, huh? Can they? Nope! Now, let's go! <laughs> See, I don't believe there's anything hidden in this room. So what is actually how you're supposed to find invisible blocks? Like this. Snowman doll. Ugh. These you can still jump while holding her. So, it's not clear what exactly what is supposed to be. She's supposed to be a little sparky. Yeah. Um, so, if you guys remember Super Mario World, you know, you know what the little Sparkies look like? Does she not look like a sun? I thought Watt was supposed to be a sun when I was a kid. It took reading it up on Mario Wiki for me to find out that she's supposed to be a little Sparky. Oh, and even though Watt is supposed to be female, um, the descriptions here 
will say he, and I'm like, what? But what's a female? Anyway, show Master Turbocharge to increase Mario's attack power. So let's upgrade Watt. Turbocharge is actually pretty helpful. So I upgrade Watt as soon as I can. Like right here. So Watt is now super rank. So for the record, this is how you were supposed to see that uh the badge block by using Watt. Oh my lord. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, yeah, yeah. I cannot deal with this. Star Storm. Because uh, the thing is, Watt does not jump on top of enemies when she uses Electro Dash. It's just, I don't know if she can still target fire enemies. I don't feel like finding that out. Oh, I'm actually two points away from leveling up. So if I can do that, then I guess I don't have to worry about uh, going to the Toad House. I could just move forward to the chapter boss. I don't know what I'm doing. Green Station, Green Station. Green Station, Joseph, it's at the top of the list. Okay. So I just need two more star points to level up. There's nothing to the left, so let's go to the right. Since I'm here, I might as well just uh, hire it to take care of this guy. What am I doing? Let's go to Peak Station then. Okay, it's at the top of the list. You know, it just—I just had a thought. Have little Sparkies appeared in a game after Paper Mario? Is they appeared in Super, their first appearance was in Super Mario World alongside Hotheads. Hey, but I don't know if uh, I might as well show her off in battle. I don't have chill out equipped. Well, at least I got to show what happens if an enemy gets a first strike. Okay, so this is what Walk can do. Let's see, Electro Dash. Penetrate defense power and attack an enemy with electricity. Let's see, Power Shot can paralyze enemy. Electro boost Mario's attack power for a short time. So, Electro Dash has the same command as Bombette's Body Slam. So, otherwise, it'll only do one damage. Let's see, I got the two points they need for a level up. You know, I don't remember that being green. I thought it was supposed to be yellow. Pow! Okay. Alright, that takes care of these guys. Got the level up. I don't have to worry about going to the Toad House. So, I will increase badge points. Ah, uh, that sucks. I was hoping to keep that number at zero for the whole game, but I guess it's not going to happen. I'll equip Deep Focus, and I will re-equip Chill Out. Yeah, many experienced players would tell you just increase BP as soon as you can. I'm good at the game, but I'm not that good at the game. I mean, I lost I lost to the anti-guy. Even though my intent with that was to show the game over screen, you know. Okay, so... It should add up to around 30... A little over 30 minutes after the cuts. So I think this is a good, good place to call it quits. So next time we Paper Mario with our new party member Watt, let's see what we can do by reaching the boss of the of the area. See you then.